brings us together. Lots of joy with family and friends, but it can cause havoc on our pipes. 10 News reporter Lauren Davis joins us with more on why plumbers see this day every year as one of their busiest. Lauren. John, Black Friday is a busy day for those shopping around for the best deals, but for plumbers, it's busy for a different reason. I try to avoid anything that's, that's food oriented, more liquid. I try to recycle and try to keep the drain clean. I know we put the grease down the drain, it's going to stop the drain up. And it costs money to get it cleaned out, so I'd, I'd do the, the, the smart thing and put it in the, in the garbage can. While the people we spoke to know the right way to dispose of waste, Pete Sanders, the president of Sanders Plumbing and Halls, says not everyone does. Your main sewer system might be not in the greatest shape and it's used to three or four people, but when you have 15 or 20 over for the holidays, it overloads it. And then people cleaning up, they don't really know how to use their kitchen sink drains or their disposal. Plumbers call the day after Thanksgiving Brown Friday because of the increase in calls they get for clogged toilets, drains, and garbage disposals. You just feed your cable in and out, kind of work it back and forth until you feel clogged. And then once that breaks free, you can hook your P-trap back up, run some water, see if it's flowing properly. Sanders says it's best not to put any solid foods down your garbage disposal if you have one. I think a lot of people think that just because they have a disposal, you can just run everything in there. The disposal is basically for things that may not get raked off the plates or something like that. The disposals never be used as a solid waste disposal system. And if you have been putting the wrong things down the drain, Sanders says there will be a warning. If you hear bubbling and gurgling, things like that going on, just know that that's a precursor to a potential problem that you're going to have. Pete Sanders says it's best to stick to liquids down your garbage disposal and to make sure you scrape solid waste and oils into the trash can. John. Good reminder, Lauren Davis, on the story. If 